I'm Chris Canwell, and in this video, I'm going to talk about when your girlfriend says she loves you, but she can't be with you. I see this happen a lot when guys are in this situation and their girlfriend's broken up with them, and they try to get back with their ex, and she keeps saying over and over again, I love you, I care about you, but I just can't be with you. And this is really frustrating because it sends two messages. You think, how can she love me and not want to see me? But women will say this all the time and it's very, very frustrating and you need to know how to deal with this the right way because if you don't deal with it the right way, she is just going to pull further and further away from you. So what does it mean when your ex-girlfriend says that she loves you but she can't be with you? Well, first of all, this is a good sign because it shows that she cares about you and she genuinely does care about your feelings and this means that she's not willing to shut you out of her life. She wants you in her life, but she just doesn't want to see you at this moment in time. When she says she just can't be with you and she just can't see you, it doesn't mean she can't see you when, in one week or two weeks or in one month from now. It means that she can't see you at this present moment in time because her emotions are in a place where she needs to deal with that first. She needs to deal with her emotions and she needs to understand what's going on, why she's lost attraction, why she's pulled away from you, and what is it about the relationship that has made her withdraw. Once your girlfriend understands what's going on and she appreciates this and she knows why she's pulled away, then she'll be in a place where she can come back to you and she'll be open to receiving communication from you. But until that time happens, don't try to force it. Don't try to force getting back with your ex-girlfriend. Because if you do that and the time is not right, you're just going to make things worse. She's going to get really upset and she's going to pull further and further away from you. And I see this happen all the time. I just had a guy talk to me the other day and he was saying how his girlfriend kept telling him that she loved him and she cared about him but she didn't want to see him and he didn't understand why this was possible how could it be that a woman cared about him but she didn't want to see him so he kept on calling her he kept texting her and saying hey how's it going what are you up to miss you want to know you're okay and she got more and more frustrated and more and more distant because he wasn't giving her the time to heal and I've talked in my previous videos about the fading effect bias which is something which is really important to understand. This was a study which was conducted at the University of Limerick and they found that over time a woman will think more positively about you and forget about the bad memories. So you need to give her time to forget the bad memories and remember the good things about you. Allow her time to get over the negative emotions and then when she's ready she will come back to you and she will want to see you again. You just need to know how to handle the situation the right way. Don't panic, don't freak out and don't get scared and don't try to chase your ex-girlfriend into getting back together with you. Yes, she says she loves you. Yes, she says she can't be with you. But like everything in life, you need to focus on people's actions and not their words. Her words are only meaningful at this present moment in time. One hour from now or a day from now, she might think completely different about you. She might go to sleep and wake up and suddenly she's feeling, hey, I really miss him. I really want to be with him and she'll call you. You just don't know how a woman is going to feel tomorrow. What she says right now is how she's feeling at that present moment in time when she sends the message. Don't let it rattle you and don't let it upset you too much because if you do, it's just gonna drive you crazy because one minute you're getting a positive message from your ex-girlfriend and the next minute you're getting a negative message from her. So don't rely too much on what she says. However, the fact that she says she cares about you and she loves you still, it means that she probably will be open to talking to you in the near future, very soon. You just need to allow her that time and space to get over the negative part of your relationship. Why has she pulled away from you? Why has she broken up with you? These are very important questions to ask yourself. Why did she leave? Allow her space. You need to give her freedom. A lot of the time she's just felt suffocated. She needs to get away. Maybe you've been too controlling. Maybe the relationship has been too intense. Maybe she's uncertain about the relationship. Maybe she's scared of falling too head over heels in love with you as well. And she's pulling away before she comes back to recommit you. But she has to know when she pulls away from you that you're not going to freak out. You're not going to chase her. You're not going to go into stalker mode and go crazy. This is very important. If you handle the situation the right way, how you react determines how she comes back. Keep this in mind. Now, if you need a solid strategy to get your ex-girlfriend back, go to my website and download my guide. It has all the information you need to get her back and to keep her attracted to you. And if you need help with a specific relationship problem, 
please don't hesitate to book a Skype or email consultation with me. And if you just want to get in touch, shoot me an email. I love to hear from you guys. Talk soon.